Well, those are the three Argentinian. The tank, Hernan Gonzalez, the striker. The machine, the midfielder, Zaka Moran. And the MVP last year, Emiliano Trezaghi. New England controlling much of the early portions of this one. Sierakowski taken down now. He scored the lone goal, the game-winning goal last week against Fort Lauderdale. Foot race. That's won by Earl Edwards. But we seem to see he was getting there. Good contact on the left side. From Juan Pablo Monticelli. The other player, in addition to Austin Aviza, the backup goalkeeper that Richmond plucked from the blew that play dead and made them retake the free kick as he went to have a chat between Rosansky and Terzaghi. Something to monitor as this one goes along. Monticelli looking very strong in the early stages. New England trying to clean up the mess. Still not out of the woods yet. Content to let New England have the possession. They'll counter when they can. They'll play over the top when they do have the ball. Battle between Renix and Magalhães. No doubt due to the injury we saw to Ian Antley. Stoppage time brought to you by United Healthcare. Antley had to be subbed out in minute 25. Delivery towards Edwards, somehow falls and it ends up in the back of the net. Don't know how it got there. Edwards dropped it. And then Monticelli, a gift. Take another look at it. He was going for the grab, never got it. Looked like he was trying to dodge Hernan Gonzalez. One of the youngest players on the roster and he continued to get better and better every week. Hernan Gonzalez. But in terms of chemistry and in terms of the playing styles, he felt good about the way his team matched up. A seam found to Presley. In the box, goes down, no call. Finds Caicedo into Presley. Monticelli, strong, wins it from Sierakowski. Turnover, though. Rosansky in space. Quinones running with him. Sierakowski calling forward in the middle, shouts for a handball. They might have had a case. At the end of the day, they want to win ball games, and they did a good job of it at the end of last season down the stretch, wanting to build on it this year. Buck towards the far post. Not quite going to count as the first shot on target. Bit of fullback when he was last playing in 2019 as a starter for Greenville. Also played some midfield that year, but this is the first time we've seen him at center back. There's Lomas now. Trying to shake off the tackle, doesn't, and it's a foul. This one's lofted into the box, looking for Lomas. Doesn't reach him there, but Boo's there to clean up the mess. Finds Falk. Cross in. Polak's there, sort of for the half clearance, and then gets it out to Booth. Here it comes. Far post. Fans were screaming for a penalty. He finds the center forward, Hernan Gonzalez. Here comes Juan Pablo Monticelli up from his fullback spot. Can't get the cross though. Another mistake here, and Don Smart's onto this one, and that's going to be a foul, surely. Richmond kickers are really just killing themselves. His team's inability to sort of strike the free kicks from outside the box. We're going to have a yellow card here on Juan Pablo Monticelli. I assume for the descent, but the foul wasn't, it was from behind. Download now on the Apple or Google Play Store. That's the new Kickers app. That one's going to roll out for a corner. When you win the title, that some of these USL Championship sides are going to want to play you and test themselves. Here's Smart now. Perhaps going to go with sort of a 4-2-3 with Booth, as you can see now, pushing up. When, the foot, when, it, when it allows the full backs to do so. But appear, apparently okay to play a half. It's here's Juan Pablo Monticelli. I think this is kind of the pattern of the play we're going to see for the next 40 minutes. Kikus camping themselves in the Greenville half. Silly yellow card, first of all, for Murillo, and then the second one was just clumsy. Perhaps with some intent as well. The referee, John Griggs, said, here's a second yellow, have your walking orders. Is that one's 
easily wide of the goal. There's a cross in from Monticelli. Nobody's there, though. Polak chests it down calmly. Oh, nice pass by Moran to Bolduck. He finds Monticelli, a fullback in a bit of a strange position. He's going to take a crack with the left foot. And he must have gone to the same distance shooting school as Ivan Magliez. The clearance from Mohamed. Looking for Lachlan McClay. Oh, that's a high foot. I never thought there, but no call from the ref. Here's Victor Falk down the left side now. Followed closely by Mohamed. Booth was over there to potentially help. Triumphal just lump it forward here looking for Booth. And again, that'll take a few more seconds off the clock. There's Noah Pilato. Agayaez gets a deflection. That's going to be a corner. I'm not sure why Dallas J was letting that go by the post. Maybe with the dangerous spin on it. See if there's something to celebrate here. The corner from Zaka Moran. Swung in once again. Dallas J out for it. This time it's going to be a catch and a foul instead of the punch. It's going to be a tough skipping ball for Monticelli though. And does get a throw out of it off Alex Morel. Into the last 30 seconds. And the kickers pull something out at the depth. At the death, excuse me. This one's lofted in. 17 in red, Jonathan Bolaños. We saw some of his family in the crowd before the game. The Miramar, Florida native, went to high point for his college soccer. Here's Jonathan Bolaños. Mabika back defending. Monticelli, left footed cross, flicked along off the face of Harden. And from his backside, it was Terzaghi. San Diego from the Valley, May 6th, 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Deportes. Big win for RGV a night ago. San Diego, a tough loss for them. 4-1 at the hands of Phoenix Rising. On, of course, that was the last, the last national television broadcast for the league. And of course, it'll be League One in the spotlight on the 16th with Greenville taking on Omaha. And we ask Darren Powell about Sean Hundall. He spent some time in the league with TFC2 back in 2019. Luke Pavone, the last man of defense for Richmond. They might feel fortunate to get away there. Some nervy moments here from the kickers in the opening 23 minutes. Monticelli. He continues his run, nifty little back heel. Good noise in the crowd tonight. He got there first, but Nahib affected it. Vinyals. Monticelli. About five minutes to go until we get to halftime. Sean Hundall's goal that so far is standing up as the only goal. There have been chances both ways for Gonzalez. It was dropped deep on a number of occasions to keep possession for the kickers. Ball in behind, Monticelli. His cross blocked. Switch of play, Pavone. Another diagonal ball. Monticelli heads this one forward. And the offside flag was up. Show you some of the new style around the league here in 2021. It includes the new Richmond kits for this season. Evans trying to turn the corner. And the foul will be awarded at the initial point of contact. Now it's Lou Young who's into the corner. Evans. Zaka Moran wins it back for Richmond. And so far we're picking up pretty much right where we left off in that first half. Both teams really going at it. 
Botticelli gets stuck in, wins the ball back. Bolaños, corner kick here for the kickers. A set piece change this game. On the bicycle kick, Anderson, a bit ambitious. Evans was dropped very deep here to keep possession for Fort Lauderdale. here from Tormenta. Richmond hit it back in the middle third here. That's a nice long ball. Looking for Jonathan Bolaños. He's got time to look up on the goals. Failed to gather the first one. And then let the second one go through his legs. And it's Bolaños now with another. Sergi Noose making that move to the near post. Well punched away by Fitzgerald. Sergi Nusu actually took the free kick. No, looking for a penalty. We're going to have a dive perhaps instead. It's exactly what we're going to have. Learn more at uslsoccer.com slash forward forever hyphen proud. Because Bolaños had it, has it deep inside Tormenta territory. A little reset here with Falk. And of course Greenville ended up getting the goal with a man down. Here's Bolaños. Continuing to find space on that left. Knocks it back to Monticelli, but his left-footed attempt is shanked just wide. Here is Noose. Wide to Thorne. Make a nice run there is Gomez. He's going to be clipped as the fouls continue to rack up. That's seven fouls now conceded by the Richmond kickers. And we have a goal. In North Carolina, Marius Lomas with a penalty for the triumph. Puts the defending champs up 1-0 on the road. Does have a capacity of 22,000. Only cost 80,000 back then. Open to a 30% capacity at the moment. 2,400 spectators is the max. Is, is Richmond out wide. Ball's looking, served in, looking for Tuzagi. Noose is there though. Head of the Argentine and clears it away to Micheletto. Benoit in that defensive midfield spot for Tormenta. After that, it will get to face Toronto 2, who will start their season soon. Playing in Florida and Arizona. Obviously, the COVID travel situation making things difficult for all Canadian teams at the moment. Chasing back with him is Noose. He'll stay with him here as the ball is swung and looking for Tezagi. Here come the kickers. Long ball again, more direct here in the second half. Nice touch by Bolduck. But Ekin Road was in the right position at the right time. Vinyard. Like Curtis Thorne, a product of the Sunshine State Conference, D2 NCAA. Played there for Florida Tech. Here's Micheletto now. Tormenta not giving up easily. Nice work there by Monticelli, who I think put that one out of the stadium. So three games out of four with no goals at the moment for Ian Cameron. A little disappointing. Didn't really create any quality chances this evening. Viardi cleared away by Monticelli. That result holds. Greenville will be in first place.